work at the resort in the comp I center. I work so at the comp center and uh, I do some coaching over there. But as well, uh, if I am home and I'm not touring, I as well work for Christie's. And okay. So what did you what did you bring? I brought some Rosie Sin Sevens today. You know, last time I was here, I brought the E eighty fours and the E eighty eights, which I'm, I'm a real big fan of the E eighty eight. It's got a racer platform underneath, and it's Lucy on the front and the back, and just a really, really fun, fun ski. This one is more soft oriented. Okay. I saw the snow flying, so I stopped by the store last night and grabbed those and grabbed these to they give them a pretty, try. They look pretty fat. They are pretty fat, and you know, one of the things um, I was talking to Jer about it. Um, I, I mean, the, the skis just get fatter and fatter, and I get it. I get it, but. It's almost like you got two snowboards strapped here. Yeah, <laughs> but you know something? The reason I like these is because they're not that fat underneath here. These are actually 98 millimeters underfoot. Okay. We have we have something called the Super 7, which is 116 millimeters underfoot. What is that? Uh, so that's, I'm, that's, it's like, that's going to be like that. Like, we so could I'm go a, get a, sushi. We could yeah. put it on the ski and just eat sushi off the ski. <laughs> So I'm a snowboarder. Like there is like underfoot with snowboards too. But what like what is it exactly? Okay. Well, with, with this one, this is the sin, and this is 98 underfoot, which means right here underneath the foot, it's 98 millimeters. Okay. And then the tip has got a good cut. On this one, it's 128 millimeters. Oh, okay. So it widens up. Yeah. Okay. And then on the back side of this one, it's 118. But that's so it's a almost like smaller. that's like a water ski. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it is very similar. Um, you know, it, it, if you take <laughs> yeah, a look, that's what it looks like. <laughs> well, it, it is, and and this actually for being a powder, uh, something for soft conditions, it having a little bit smaller underfoot makes it pretty quick. Uh huh. So it works in moguls. It works in things like that. Right. It was a lot of fun today. Um, I found that it, it when I got going a little over 50, it got a little mushy. You were going 50 miles an hour in your skis. Yeah, but um, <laughs> so it was a little mushy uh -huh. when when for that. But everything else it responded to really, really, really nice. So are those going to be skis that you could learn on? Um, that's a good question. I would like, I would hesitate. Yeah. To from learning on skis like this, I think uh, having smaller underfoot makes a ski more controllable. Right. Um, so well, and I, I I ski a tiny bit, yeah. um, and I actually so I have a, a pair of little twin tip vocals that I mm -hmm. ski on because I'm not that good. But I took out some of the Rosignol Sassy Sevens, and they're super wide, and like I could not, like no, I couldn't it, I couldn't get on the edges with those. Well, I, I I will say that you know I I I get why they keep making them wider. Uh -huh. I find as a skier that I lose my relationship with the ski a little bit the fatter it gets. Yeah. I, I I enjoy a carved turn. I enjoy feeling the snow and not having too big of boards that are keeping me away from it. Yeah, that's you know? kind of how I felt. I mean, even though I'm not a skier, like that's kind of how I felt on those big wide skis. Yeah, like I, I just couldn't. Do but it. this one was nice today. <laughs> Being a little thinner as well. This is a wood core, mm -hmm. so it's kind of like having Bob Marley underneath your feet. So yeah, I had a, I just had a great day skiing all day with a bunch of kids from Comp Center. Right. So you're you're a coach and you coach yep. the kids. Okay. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Like, oh, why do you why do you do that? I mean, were you a why racer? Do I do that? Were you a racer? I was a racer. Okay. I was a racer growing up. My my loves my love was uh, either singing or skiing. Mm -hmm. um, my father's an orchestra conductor. My mom was a ski patroller for forty years. Oh wow! Um, Here at Winter Park? Or? Nope, back in the Midwest, up okay. in the Upper Peninsula. Oh, of that's Michigan. right. You're, we and, talked about the yeah and Copper so, Harbor area. but. I was out with uh, six kids today from 6 to 12. Mm -hmm. All of them have been skiing for at least four years. Complete rippers. You can take them anywhere on the hill. And, and I actually love it. I, I teach um, not to make money, and I'm sure anyone that's a coach will be like, yeah, we don't do it to make money. <laughs> we, we do it to, to get breaks on skiing, to get breaks on passes, to work with kids, mm -hmm. and really be a part of, of a person's ski progression. Right. And that's really rewarding, um, much more rewarding than the pay. <laughs> I mean it. Yeah, I mean yeah, it. I yeah. Mean, there's, there's a few kids that, that I have uh, that, that my kids at home, my own kids, my own family, rely. They're like, okay, Dad, tell us the stories about Sammy today. Because, you know, I've got certain kids that right. just light your life up every single day with some weird thing that they say mm -hmm. or just the most honest stuff. And uh, Well, you can see a progression, too, in oh, their for scheme. Sure. And that, that is probably really rewarding, I would imagine. We, you know? uh, we definitely, uh, today, we skied a lot of stuff today. And we were able to get in many, many runs compared to even just last month 
we would have only gotten in half the amount of runs. That's oh, how, really? That's There's how, been that much improvement? For sure. Oh, wow. For sure. Okay. And, uh, you know, and it's tough. I mean, when you get to a long traverse or a cat track or something like that, some of these little ones have a real hard time on it. Oh, yeah. Because I mean, it's a long way to go. <laughs> What is um what is the website for Christy it's, Sports? It's uh, christysports.com. Awesome. Well, thanks again. I'm sure we'll see you again or, cool. or maybe Jesse. Right on. And yeah. good luck thanks with for having me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, we had a great show. Brett Schrotlin, the new sheriff in town, uh, was here. Mike from Grand County Search and Rescue also stopped by. Jerry from the Lions Club was here as well, and of course, PJ from Christy Sports. Uh, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again. <laughs>